Hi, this is Joyce from America Speaks, the voice of Joyce. I've just returned from Detroit, which was my home in 1976 to 79, when I worked for Ford Motor Company. And now there is a vibrant downtown, a vibrant Wayne State University that played host to the Fulcrum Conference. Fulcrum Conference was a conference sponsored by the Ford Foundation, Google, Singularity University, and several others uh, that I can discuss on my blog site. In fact, all details will be found on my blog site in the next few days, which is America Speaks, the voice of Joyce dot me. So I look forward to any comments afterwards. And if you want to email me, I'll give you those instructions as well. But let me tell you why I think the future is bright for labor. There were 300 dedicated folks who attended this conference. Every one of us was invested in making lives better for all of us who work. We're not looking for a living wage only. We're looking for a living wage and a quality of life that will include your family and your community. And I was heartened because I heard how AI that I have dreaded all these years because there is no ethics involved can indeed become a tool for all of us. They're looking to develop artificial intelligence that will be an aid to labor. It will work to help people assemble, thousands of people assemble in a matter of days at a moment's notice. It will work to help organize and unionize Uber and Lyft right here in New York City. It's already started with the Guild. And to accompany that organization is a benefits counselor, somebody who will provide benefits for the new employees of Uber and Lyft. And don't think that your voice won't be heard because our goal is to make sure that labor has a seat at the corporate table, that you have a voting voice. There are hundreds of thousands of you globally and everyone should be unionized and organized by sector. So it's not just one person going up against a corporation and their up until now draconian rules. It is many voices to be heard. And it seems to me unionization is the right way to go. If you're still not convinced and you feel that you need the flexibility for whatever reason to be part of that gig economy, well, if you are, you got to have the tools to remain in the game so that you can be as efficient with your time and only look at jobs that you know will be well paying. And there are going to be apps for that as well. Every community I found out has to report what jobs are available in their community. Los Angeles is actually going to act on it and link employers to people seeking jobs. The app can be developed, I understand, in six to nine months. It's not here in New York City yet, but I certainly am going to push for something like that because it's a good idea. People do not deserve to work for pennies. They don't need to subsist. 
They need to make a living wage so that they can care for their families and their communities. And if they wish to pray, they could pray. If they wish to take a vacation, they could take a vacation. They must be treated in a humane way. And I think that we all agree that that's what's right and proper. Almost 45% of the population will be in gig work. That work's got to be organized. They're going to be doing it for retailers as we speak so that people know what their hours are and what to expect at the job and how much they'll be paid so that it is not too disruptive to their lives. In order to get this way, we've got to be organized. Not everyone is a B corporation. A B corporation is a corporation that has a social conscience. I understand the new Toys R Us is indeed going to be a B corporation. And they're working with MIT so that they can recruit and train a labor force and give back to the community. That's what it's all about, integrating all of us within our communities, identifying the needs of the community so that we can educate people and give them the skills required to work within their community. And above that, to also provide the transportation that once they've got the skills and the job that we know they can get there. So there's a lot of work to be done, but if we look at today as ground zero and we start working with people that I will identify on my blog site, I think in two or three years, we really can change the fate of labor and the future for labor will be bright. So take care everyone, have a great day, and I'll see you next week. Thank you for listening.